Arkansas State Police say the accident rate for Northeast Arkansas is climbing, but as Tim Hall reports, you can improve your odds by remembering the basics. The bypass around Jonesboro is one of the most dangerous places in northeast Arkansas to drive. As a matter of fact, this intersection is known as Death Valley. Accident reports for the first six months of this year indicate a record number of people are getting hurt on area roads. Police say the solution to the problem is simple. Drivers need to pay more attention to the basics. Most of your accidents are caused by failure to yield right away. The, the accidents we work, and I think it would probably prove true in cities also, but about... Uh, a third of the accidents we were uh, contributing cause failed to yield the right way. About a fourth of them is speeding too fast for condition, speeding or speed too fast for condition. As you'd guess, the highest percentage of accidents occur on Friday afternoon and early evening. But a large amount of wrecks are also reported each morning as people find themselves running late for work. Police say one of the biggest problems for our area is that most roads were not designed to handle the heavy traffic flow we have. Proposals to build overpasses will help, but police remind everyone there's only so much they can do to prevent wrecks. The rest is up to you. Warning signs have already been posted along Highway 63, like this one as you enter Jonesboro. State police say once folks pay attention to these signs, fewer accidents will be reported. Arkansas Tim Hall, fatalities in Troop C have been on the rise over the past four years, and 1987 ranks the worst. Arkansas State Police Sergeant Dale Miller says 41 people died on Arkansas roads in Troop C, which is northeast Arkansas, in 1984, 48 in 85, 55 in 86, and 64 so far in 87. Those figures are part of the reason Arkansas has the second highest highway fatality rate in a seven-state region year, uh, fatality-wise. Uh, uh, I think, of course, the economy's better. People's out driving more, the gas is cheaper, and uh, that plays a part also, along with more smaller cars, uh, people not wearing seat belts. He... Miller says if uh, some careless drivers saw what the police see and really understood what not wearing seat belts and not restraining kids in cars can do, they would probably never drive without proper restraint A one-vehicle accident last night has killed one man and injured another. Arkansas State Police say the accident occurred on Highway 163, just north of the Craighead and Poinsett County lines. Uh, this vehicle entered this curve, uh, apparently high rate of speed, lost control, struck the end of the bridge, jumped the ditch and turned over. Uh, we have one, it, it's 10 is dead now, one's critically, critically injured. The victim is identified as 21-year-old Charles Ray White of Truman. The person injured is identified as 19-year-old Scotty Ray Spence, also of Truman. He was taken to Methodist Hospital here in Jonesboro, where he's listed in stable condition.